Horses are expensive in general, and some of them are so expensive that you can buy two or three supercars with that money. They are priced according to their appearance, gentleness, intelligence, and most importantly, their performance on the track. Here are the most expensive horses in the world that'll make your jaw drop. Green Monkey No, it's not a ridiculously expensive monkey, but it is a painfully expensive horse at 16 mil. This was an American thoroughbred racehorse descended from Northern Dancer and Secretariat. The horse was born on 4-2004, suffering from severe laminitis, and had to be euthanized at the age of 14. That, however, didn't affect its performance on the racetrack or on the auction. Green Monkey went into the ring at the 2006 Fasig Timpton Calder Select two-year-olds in training sale, and there he completed an eighth of a mile in nine and four-fifths seconds. The astonishing performance impressed Coolmore and Darley both so much that they got into a full-on bidding war over the horse. They both set out to own a Green Monkey no matter the price. Finally, after very long bidding, Darley folded and Coolmore got the colt for 16 million bucks. The horse was purchased a year ago at the Fasig Tipton 2005 Kentucky Select Sale by partners Randy Hartley and Dean DeRenzo. And I think it's safe to say that they weren't disappointed by the purchase at all since the horse got them a huge success. Finally, the Green Monkey was retired after finishing fourth in a turf maiden at Hollywood Park. The colt earned $10,440 in his very eventful career. Dressage is a form of horse training and riding that's very entertaining to watch and extremely hard to perform. This Dutch Warmblood, or more commonly known as Toto, is the world's best dressage horse ever. Born in 2000 in the Netherlands, it can score above 90 in dressage, currently owned by Paul Schakamol and Anne Catherine Lissenoff. They bought the horse for an astonishing 21 million euros. Tantalus started his life rough because of his inability to concentrate properly. According to Euro Dressage, the horse had some tension problems and the tendency to show pee-off and passage in the transitions. The judges weren't very impressed with the horse, and they thought he wasn't very happy judging by his mouth movements, which he opened very frequently. The Sharif Dancer is one of the most expensive horses in the world. It was an American-bred, British-trained thoroughbred horse. It was a good racehorse, but it was even better as a sire. It was owned by the Emir of Dubai, and as you've guessed already, it wasn't cheap. The stallion was born in 1980, followed by a very successful racing career. The horse was sired by Northern Dancer and trained by Michael Stout at Newmarket, Suffolk. It won the Group 1 Irish Derby Stakes at the Curra at the Group 2 King Edward VII Stakes. Starting five times, it finished first in three races, second in one, and failed to place in the fifth. Apart from that, he also sired many great progenies such as Possessive Dancer, Rock Hopper, Glory of Dancer, Spartan Sharif Matahem, and Shema. The last stud fee of the horse was 3,500 pounds in 1999. He was the dam sire of Dubai Millennium. In 1981, this Dubai King horse was bought by Maktoum bin Rashid Al Maktoum for $3.3 million at Keeneland Sales. Then in 1983, the Emir of Dubai bought it for an impressive $40 million. The colt earned about 144,331 pounds throughout its racing career, which still isn't much compared to how pricey it was. So what do you think? Was the hefty price tag worth it? Let us know in the comments below. If the price of the Sharif Dancer surprised you, then brace yourself for the Fusechi Pegasus, because this one costs a whopping $70 million. It's the second best breeding horse right after the Sharif Dancer along with a jaw-dropping successful racing career. It won the Kentucky Derby in 2000, which came with a $2 million prize money. Pair that with the earnings from siring over 75 stake winners worldwide after retiring and you've got a horse that's worth every penny. This thoroughbred racehorse was purchased by the world's largest thoroughbred breeding operation run by Irish breeder Coolmore Stud. You'd expect its offspring to be high-quality racehorses, keeping the price in mind, but they turned out half-decent at best. Three of them were Grade 1 stakes winners, Bandini, Roman Ruler, and Harutasan. The Fusechi Pegasus was also the grand sire to one winner of the Belmont Stakes. Ruler on Ice, which was born on April 12, 1997, no horse has won the Triple Crown so far, and the Fusechi Pegasus was the only horse to come close to doing it by winning two of the three races. 
So the horse is a legend and very popular among horse racing fans not only because it's one of the most expensive horses, but also because of its eventual racing career. Owning horses may be expensive, but watching them is not. You can find many great videos of the magnificent horse on YouTube along with many other interesting videos on our channel. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you like watching interesting videos just like this one. According to National Thoroughbred Racing Association, Jalil's sire is one of the most influential sires in thoroughbred history, and you're about to know why. Jalil was born on February 15, 2004, and he was purchased in 2005 for $9.7 million, which is about $13.5 million in today's currency. It may seem like a lot of money, but believe me when I say that it was completely worth it. Jalil is a part of the other nine descendants of Northern Dancer and all of them on the list of most expensive colts sold at auction. Jalil first started racing at the age of two and finished sixth at Newmarket Racecourse in Suffolk, England in his maiden race. He first started dirt racing at four years old in the Maiden Marina Handicap at Nad Al Sheba Racecourse in Dubai. Then he made back-to-back -back authoritative scores in the Zawaj Handicap and Group 2 Mac Tom Challenge Stakes, both at Nad Al Sheba. Jalil finished up his racing career by finishing eighth behind at Nad Al Sheba in the $6 million GI Dubai World Cup. Now that's what we call a grand ending. For a horse that never raced, $10.2 million is a huge price tag. The Snappy Dancer is the first ever yearling that was sold at such a high price. He was born on February 25, 1982 and purchased by Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Despite having the famous and unbelievably fast Northern Dancer as his sire, he never even stepped into the public racetrack. When he was in training, it said it didn't go very well and was embarrassingly slow to run in public. Because of that, he was retired as a stud and that didn't go as planned either. Soon after he was put to his duty, it was discovered that Northern Dancer had fertility issues. He was only able to breed for two years, siring a total of four foals, none of which has a very impressive racing career. Snappy Dancer was last reported to be at Florida Farm, where he passed away due to a heart attack in 2007. Maiden City was sold at the kennel for $11.7 million to Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Maktoum in a September sale of 2006. The horse is named after a very popular development scheme in Dubai, and it was bred at the Jaff Stables. The horse was sent to Mubarak bin Shafia for training at the Mark Lewis Stable. Despite its heavy price tag, it couldn't do that well in races. Among the seven times that the horse has raced, it couldn't win any of them. Maiden City was resold to Aston Upthorpe Stud in 2016 but still didn't manage to win any races. The United Arab Emirates has some of the most expensive horses in the world and Dubai in particular is known as the City of the Rich. Some believe it's the City of Gold. Do you have any better names? Share with us in the comments below. The Seattle Dancer, as you probably guessed already, was also sired by Northern Dancer. It was sold for $13.1 million at a public auction. He's one of the most expensive horses on our list, and for good reason. After the purchase, it was sent to Bally Doyle in Ireland for training, but unfortunately there was a virus attack in the stable that prevented him from racing as a two-year-old as he was too weak to race. When Vincent O'Brien conditioned him to be race-ready, the performance was incredible. The Seattle Dancer made his debut in April of 1987 in the colors of Stravos Nairchos and finished third in a race at the Carrig Racehorse in Ireland. Then he won the Group 3 Gallinol Stakes at the Carrig and the Group 2 Darrenstown Stud Derby Trial at Leopardstown Racecourse. That was followed by Longchamp Racecourse in Paris, France when he finished sixth in the Group 1 pre du Jockey Club. The Seattle Dancer was raced five times in total, winning two of them before he was retired as a stud. He also shined as a stud siring 37 horses, among them many were stake race winners. Finally, the horse passed away at 23 years old in 2007 in Germany. The Palobet de Long is the only show jumper horse in the world. To get your hands on this one, you'll have to pay about $15 million. This expensive horse is owned by Jan Tops, and let's just say he didn't regret his purchase. 
Tops bought the horse when it was 10 years old. From the age of 6 until it was sold, it was ridden by Janica Sprunger. During that time, the expensive racehorse developed into a top-notch Grand Prix horse. When the horse was born in 2004, it was first thought to have been purchased for personal use, but it was soon seen in the Qatar CSI competition with Ali Yusuf Al Rumayi as the rider. It was then again seen on the international platform in 2019, but he wasn't placed despite a clear round because of his time faults. In spite of not winning the race, the horse still managed to capture the attention and admiration of its rider and audience through the performance. Palabet de Long finally won the PSI European Championship as well as finishing second in the Ashen Rolex Grand Prix. Now, this well-accomplished horse is retired and enjoying his well-deserved rest and peace, which is lacked after gaining mass media popularity because of the record price. The Palabet de Long is one of the most expensive racehorses after all. The Annihilator is not only one of the most expensive horses ever, but it's also extremely good-looking with its beautiful dark color. Coming from the line of Niatros, the horse has won Meadowlands Pace and the Little Brown Jug. The Annihilator has a great pace. The Great Stallion was sired by Wish Me Wings and was used as a show horse, then a racehorse because of its handsome, tough look. Another reason that stopped it from frequenting racetracks is the little success it had on them. The Annihilator only won around $3,000 in prizes for racing. It's believed that its offsprings didn't have much success on the racetrack either, as not much is known about them. Annihilator was born October 12, 1999 and owned by H.D. Woodhouse and M. Sakura. Even though it's not officially declared the most expensive horse of all time, the $19 million price tag certainly takes it close. The exotic breed of horse, as the name suggests, is native to the Arabian Peninsula. They are best known for their power and distinct facial structures. Apart from their elegance, their speed and endurance make them one of the most expensive horses in the world. Not to mention that they're one of the oldest breeds of horses in the world and the best option for equestrian sports. To get your hands on these, you'll have to pay up to $100,000 for a well-trained one. If that's a bit too steep for you, you can opt in for the crosses that cost between $1,000 and $2,000. The most expensive breed of the Arabian horse is Pepita, one of which was sold for just under $2 million at the Pride of Poland Arabian Horse Auction in 2015. It's now a royal family horse owned by Marwan al Shakab, the crown jewel of the royal stables of Qatar. The beautiful horse spent the breeding season in Doha. With a stud fee of $20,000, however, this royal horse would never actually be bred to Amar. Don't be too shocked at the price of the horse, though, as the Saudi Arabia King Horse won the year 2022, the Saudi Cup for $20 million, trained by John Gostin. A befitting win for the expensive Arabian horse. The price of a thoroughbred horse depends on a lot of factors. Most of the expensive racing horses are thoroughbred and for good reason. They're used for racing, show jumping, combined training, polo, fox hunting, and dressage. These professional horses have great speed, spirit, and agility because of their hot-blooded nature and tall, slim, and super flexible bodies. The thoroughbred horses are not only expensive to buy, they're also quite expensive to keep. It's hard to pinpoint how much they'll actually cost you as they are mostly sold in the auction. To have a rough idea, a two-year-old horse was sold for $16,000 in a 2006 auction, and the prices can go up from $100,000 to $300,000. The Dutch Warmblood is a great competition horse native to the Netherlands. These horses excel in activities such as dressage, pleasure riding, and jumping. Since they are mostly used for competition activities and dressage, they enjoy human company. The highest price of the Dutch Warmblood was Totalis, which was sold for $13 million due to its stellar competition exploits. It was one of the most formidable dressage horses ever. Depending on the horse's training level and age, the prices can range from $4,000 to $25,000. Due to the global combined breeding, there is a large number of Dutch warmbloods rounding up to around $840,000, which is the reason why the prices aren't even higher than they already are. The Dutch warmbloods are mostly found in Belgium and the Netherlands. If the pure breed warm blood doesn't quite hit the spot for you, opt for the Cell Francois, which is a crossbreed warm blood horse. 
These horses are originally bred in France with prices going up to $50,000, but there are cheaper and well-reined versions as well, ranging from $2,000 to $40,000. When a warm blood is bred with other tough breeds of horses such as the thoroughbred, it becomes a truly athletic horse that can display excellent performance in Olympics jumping arenas. The Saint Francois is very gentle and friendly in nature, making them very easy to train and suitable for beginners. Since they require a constant human company on and off the training, they need to be kept in stables and need proper care before jumping competitions and for injuries. Because of the top-notch performance and slightly affordable price, the Cell Francois is in high demand in the UK and the US, and there are about 60,000 of them worldwide. The Andalusian is among the oldest breeds of horses that have been the trusty companions of humans for centuries. They are considered the pure Spanish breed because of the cave paintings in the caves of Spain dating way back in time. One interesting fact about this particular breed is that Napoleon reportedly stole some of them, which helped the breed to spread across Europe. The fact that the Andalusian can run at 55 miles per hour over a quarter mile distance is probably what inspired Napoleon to steal them. This is also probably the reason why these horses are prized by the nobility for centuries. They came in many different colors such as white, gray, bay, or mottled. However, the white ones were most commonly used as a diplomatic tool by the Spanish government. These horses are sensitive, smart, agile, and docile with dramatic appearance, all important traits that make them proficient in classical dressage. The Spanish Andalusians have a distinctive gait and move gracefully and dramatically. They are also used in bullfighting as stock horses or war horses at times. The prices for this breed start from $3,000 and go up to $60,000 if it's a show quality horse. The foundational sire of the American standard bred, Hamiltonian 10, is famous for its unusual build, being slightly taller at his rump than his withers. It was faster than its other counterparts because of its long hind legs that propelled him swiftly forward with every step, a race-friendly trait that he's passed on to his offspring. The most prestigious harness race in North America, the Hamiltonian Stakes, is named after him. The road where he is buried in Chester, New York is also named after him, and the horse was born in 1849. After that, sired many horses that trotted, paced, and raced both under saddle and in harness. These horses range from 14 to 17 hands in height and weight from 800 to 1,200 pounds on average. At the beginning of the 20th century, however, another standard bred grabbed the attention of the harness racing fans with its speedy accomplishments. The Dan Patch broke multiple world speed records, including setting a record for the fastest mile by a harness racing horse. To buy or adopt an American standard bred, it'll cost you around $500 to $5,000, but the prices can vary according to the horse's age, training, health, and pedigree. The Mustang is probably the most popular name on our list. No, we're not talking about the sports car, we're talking about the actual Mustang, the horse. It should be clear by now that these horses have insane speed that inspired the car company to name themselves after the horse. The Mustang was primarily a wild breed roaming the American West. They are kind of similar to the warm bloods that can be traced back to the Andalusian and other Spanish breeds. Some common traits among the Spanish bred horses are they're short, muscular, hardy, and known to be intelligent and admired for their strength and ability to withstand hardship. The Mustang is the same with the additional title Born to Run. Put them in any adverse atmosphere, be it harsh terrains or changeable weather, they can't be phased. Mustangs have the ultimate sturdy bodies, athleticism, beauty, and the willingness to please. All of these make them top-notch show horses in both English and Western disciplines. Mustangs are great at trail competitions, jumping, Western pleasure, and dressage. There are about 70,000 free-ranging Mustangs in the U.S., counted by America's Mustang program. However, they have significantly gone down in number because of capturing them for humans, dogs, and many other reasons. The price tag on Mustangs range from $3,000 to $15,000 or more. Speaking of good looks, it's hard to beat the Friesian horse in that department. Native to the Netherlands, this heavily built and muscular horse will catch the eyes of anyone on their way. The Friesian horse is one of the oldest domesticated horse breeds in human history. With its shiny black coat, long tail, thick mane, and gentle nature, 
the horse is at the top of the favorites list of any hippophile. It's one of the most beautiful horses on our list. Before you jump on to get one of these, we must mention that these can cost you up to $13 million and above. A star mare can cost $40,000, the best preferent mares can cost a whopping $500,000 to $1 million, an unbroken foal or young horse is priced around $7,000 to $15,000, where it's at least $20,000 for a well-trained one. The high cost of training the Frisian horse is the reason for the hefty price tags. A top-notch, well-trained Frisian is at least $50,000 and the numbers only go up. You may find the horses at a lower price, but beware, as there might be some grave genetic condition or aortic artery rupture. If a deal seems too good to be true, it probably is. Frankel is the superstar of flat racing, who was not simply unbeaten for 14 straight races, no other horse could even come close to it on the racetrack. After retiring, it has sired many amazing winners, including Cracksman in Ascot's champion stakes. He is now based in the new market as part of the Judd Monty breeding operation. One of the best horses he sired, Ruler on Ice, won the 2011 Belmont Stakes. To buy Frankel, you'll have to have about $131.6 million in your bank account. Even if you want to get a horse sired by Frankel, it'll cost you a huge amount of money. The stud fee was 125,000 pounds, but the owners raised it by 40% to 175,000 pounds. He was retired from stud following the 2020 breeding season and is now pensioned at Ashford Stud in Kentucky. So which one of these surprised you the most? Have you ever seen any of them in real life? Let us know in the comment below. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comments section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on so you never miss a thing. Until next time, do take good care of yourself.